Hi everybody, let's continue by looking at the determinants of investment. Investment is a key part of the aggregate demand equation and if investment increases or decreases, aggregate demand will shift either right or left. Investment can mean many different things, so in economics by default, we say that investment is when firms spend money on capital goods to increase their productive capacity. So always go there by default, when firms spend money on capital goods, that's what we mean by investment in economics. So what factors can influence the level of investment? Well, interest rates can. Firms will finance investment in two main ways, either by borrowing money or by investing uh, retained profits that they have. So interest rates are crucial, therefore, when it comes to borrowing money, isn't it? So if interest rates are low in the economy, it means that the cost of borrowing is low, it means that firms have got a greater incentive to borrow money and then to invest. The marginal propensity to invest will increase if interest rates are lower. What you can also bring in uh, with interest rates is the notion of the hurdle. The hurdle is the required rate of return that firms need for investment projects to go ahead. So if interest rates are lower, it means reaching that hurdle, that required rate of return, becomes a bit easier, therefore again increasing the marginal propensity to invest, increasing borrowing for investment. However, if interest rates are high, the opposite will happen, investment will be lower and aggregate demand will shift left. The level of business confidence is very important as well in determining investment. Don't be that student that says, oh, business confidence is determined by uh, the state of the economy or the expected state of the economy in the future. That is true, but it's a bit vague. Be more specific as to what determines business confidence. Business confidence is determined by two key expectations by firms. The expectation of future profit and the, expe the expectation of future demand in the economy. <clears throat> if the expectation of profit and demand in the economy is high going forward, then businesses are more likely to invest. Their marginal propensity to invest is going to be higher to meet the level of demand in the future, to make sure that investment takes place whereby they can supply the demand in the future that they're expecting. So high business confidence is likely to incentivize investment Whereas if business confidence is low and businesses expect profit to be low in the future, they expect demand to be low in the future, there is no need to invest to increase capacity, is there? So low business confidence implies less investment and therefore lower aggregate demand in the economy. The level of corporation tax, of course, is going to affect uh, investment. Use the phrase retained profit here. Retained profit is the profit left after corporation tax has been paid where corporation tax is a tax on business profits. The lower the corporation tax, the higher the level of retained profit is going to be, the greater potential the business has to invest, therefore. Remember what I just said, that there are two main ways of financing investment, borrowing money, or by using retained profits. So if corporation tax is low, retained profits are going to be higher, businesses can therefore use those retained profits to invest. Whereas if corporation taxes are high, retained profits are going to be lower, investment is going to be lower. Spare capacity. Businesses have got lots of spare capacity. There is no need to invest to buy more capital machinery, to build a new factory, let's say. There is no need to do that because there is so much spare capacity that could be used up instead to increase supply, to increase production. So the greater the level of spare capacity, the less the marginal propensity to invest, the less investment. Whereas if businesses are operating very close to full capacity, then there is a very good incentive to invest to increase capacity. The level of competition is massive and the level of technology that there is in the economy. If competition is strong and lots of competitors are improving their technology, are spending more on capital machinery, are innovating, are spending more on R&D, likelihood is that businesses will react to that and also spend money on investment and at least uh, get to a level of technology that is equal to their rivals, if not better than the technology of their rivals. So if competition is high, you can expect a huge amount of investment to take place for businesses to get ahead of their competition by bringing in brand new capital, more efficient capital, or new technology, or looking to um, increase the size of their factories to produce more to get ahead of their competitors. And of course, the price of capital machinery. If the price of capital is low, then uh, investment is less costly, the marginal propensity to invest is high, and investment is likely to increase, of course it is. Don't forget the accelerator effect. This is very much linked to investment as well, of course it is. And the accelerator effect is when there is an increasing rate of real GDP in the economy, which then encourages further investment, a bit 
like what we said with respect to business confidence. If the expected uh, level of demand in the economy is going to be high, that encourages more investment. The accelerator idea is pretty much linked to that, and it states that if the rate of real GDP in the economy is increasing, that is going to encourage more investment, which will increase the rate of real GDP, which encourages more investment, etc., etc. So the accelerator idea you can also bring in to the whole topic area of investment. That covers the determinants of investment. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next video where we look at government spending. I'll see you then.